hello lovely people in this video i'm going to introduce to you uh, like i said the the items that we use in the industry in ghana in fact there are a lot of other a lot of items that are used uh, in ghana and elsewhere but i'm going to focus on the situation in ghana and like i said earlier we have aluminium profiles we have accessories that are used to fit the profiles together and we have types of glasses that are also used in order to complete the whole work okay so i'm going to take you through the profiles first i'm going to show you what names we call them and why we call them those names the types that there are what you should look out for when you are engaging uh, the surfaces of um, a glazer just so you can get the best uh, value for your money and what kind of names and how you can easily make it out the names of the profiles that we have so i'll take you through the profiles first from the profiles i'll take you through uh, the list of accessories that there are and what they are used for and i'm also going to show you a little more about the types of glasses that there are and um, what benefits each glass may give you depending on what you want to use the glasses for so it's going to be a long road so please stay and stick with me as we go through this learning curve uh, thank you so much for sticking and stay this staying this far uh, so just look out for a lot a lot more that will baffle you as to the things that we have in the industry the accessories the glass sheets and all that and we have a local board as well uh, but before we go into the profiles i'd like to give you a quick overview about the profiles so you see uh, there's a book that i have which gives a little intro about the profiles from a factory in china and you see there are several processes of getting the profiles there is the anodized and there is a powder coating uh, electrophoresis among several other things and this is just to show you how these profiles somewhat are made and are, are, um, are given to us in whatever form we have so they are extruded first from the raw aluminum before they go through the line for various processes before they get to be powder coated or anodized for the factory or the Ghanaian market so you look at this you have a list of colors that there are and um, that are possible powder coating uh, colors that there are so there are a lot of them a lot of them and over here you see it's written Nigeria so you see there are various profiles various extrusion modes and um, these are various extrusion modes that there are depending on the markets they produce to fit the extrusion modes that is required by the market and this is um, the market for the Nigeria in fact some of these extrusion modes were used in Ghana in the past we were in Ghana we used to refer to these as Sego system and but of course now we don't use them we don't uh, order them in Ghana and it's largely because Ghana was actually influenced largely by the Nigerian market the Nigerian market boomed way ahead before Ghana had this vibrant aluminium industry so this is some of the profiles that are taken to the Nigerian market yes you can see all of them there are various extrusion modes and you see for all these modes depending on the country perhaps they might have several names local names they have given them uh, these are all Nigeria you see how wide the and you see some of the uh, profiles that are exported into Nigeria are actually uh, stuff that we also do import like this particular one is called Begla Bar in Ghana this one we used to call the jam is an old system although this one is still there it's used for burglar proofs and among other things and we have that you see 100 45 by 100 you see that's how we call it in ghana this is 40 by 80 and it's available in ghana that's how we call it uh, 
yes this is 40 round because of that so i'll show you samples of them later but for now i want us to go through the so these are profiles that are exported into uae uh, these are all molds that there are so um the aluminum glaze industry is very vibrant and depending on the use of the profiles for the particular country then there are several of them so you see this is for uae in fact this particular one it's also called drawer frame it's, it's now into the ghana market this is called drawer frame it's used for making drawers yes so there are a lot a lot a lot a lot of molds all these are not imported into ghana all these are not imported into ghana yeah but i have uh, a couple of them that are important to ghana so yeah so you're going through them yes yeah, so it's a tall list of extrusion molds this is for the sudan market as you can see and we have that yeah for the sudan markets and then this is also for the sudan market as well so you see even in sudan there are a lot of other types of profiles that are exported into sudan yeah and trust you me for instance this very one okay it used to be imported into sudan only but exported into sudan only but now it's also available in ghana this very one it's called photo frame in ghana i'll show you samples later and this is also called photo frame the big and this is classified as a photo frame the small because they are mostly used in the framing uh, more like photos and uh, stickers billboards and whatever you um, signages and all that so yeah and this is for yemen market and yemen market and finally we are heading towards the Ghanaian market you see so there are lots a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of extrusion moves that's myanmar market yeah and this is myanmar as well and very soon this is palestine he get it he says so palestine so they have uh the types of profiles that they uh they use that are often used in palestine this is also angola and as you can see these are dimensions of uh the profiles from the um from one side of it yeah exactly and that is the ghana market so you have i'll show you samples of that uh this is called the frame the frame this is for window frames okay and that is the leaf for the inner that is a round leaf actually yeah it's it's not it's not very common in ghana now it used to be very very prevalent in ghana but not not now although there are still some companies that bring them to ghana and then yeah as you can see this is interlock adapter yeah that is 40 round the most one of the most common used and that is corner creates uh that is net inner yeah that is f glass and guess why it is f in its form this is f sent upside down and we fit glass into it and attach it to that so it's called f glass i'll show you samples later and that is also um l outer or small l as some may call it you see they have the dimensions as well uh we'll be using the dimensions later too when it comes to the calculations and be able to know how to estimate um the number of profiles one may need uh, when they are getting a job done so that is big l that's a small t that's the name called it in ghana that is echo no that's big t and this is also another profile that we put in ghana uh, it's not very common though and that is a big z uh, that is another one molium yeah that is molium and then we have so this one yeah this one is not very common these days that is italian bidding usually it's very common now uh that is also another type of uh, window frame and the window frame yeah so that is a tall list of items and these are stuff that uh people in iraq use okay for their you know aluminum glaze industry as well so stick and stay with me as we get into the physical products so i give you um, what you need to know about dimensions and all that thank you and see you in our next video